to welcome back to the next uh, video for uh, metal science and uh, technology module 3 classification of alloys the last video we have uh, seen how the solid solution alloys looks like which is the primary classification of our alloy in this video we will see the second classification that is intermetallic compounds or intermetallic alloys okay and it's also further classified into electron compounds and interstitial compounds okay so here to begin with uh, we will see the intermetallic alloys okay this is the intermetallic alloys here we can see that the intermetallic is a type of metallic alloy that forms an ordered solid state compounds between two or more metallic elements okay. so here basically <clears throat> as we have seen in the previous one previous solid uh, solution alloys the one category we have seen that is the ordered it is same as that of uh, the ordered we will see the difference later so here uh, the atoms if you see this one we can see that a standard alloy look like this but an intermetallics here it is of regular arrangements a particular pattern will be we can see throughout a particular pattern okay so with this uh, pattern or uh, with this addition of new elements in a regular interval you can see that a uh, throughout the metal a regular uh, in inside an internal stress will be developed so as a result it will generate some hardness and brittleness and it will exhibit some good high temperature mechanical properties okay so here the intermetallic compounds are uh, generally brittle at room temperature and have very high melting points so this uh, this tendency or this uh, internal stress will uh, even though it it improves its hardness, uh, hardness but it will be a little bit brittle at room temperatures and in order to melt it will it requires very high temperature to to melt these compounds so uh, since it is uh, very much brittle at room temperature this is not much used in the engineering applications specifically in the room temperature okay if you see some examples you can see that this titanium and nickel aluminate alloys it's named as tial okay so one basic question will arise what is the difference between these intermetallic alloys and uh, our previous one that is uh, this one this ordered substitutional uh, solid solution alloys so so we are going to see this one this is the basic difference so in intermetallic the atomic bond is metallic or the covalent bonds metallic covalent bonds whereas uh, in solid solution alloy atomic bonds is basically metallic only so this is the basic difference so please uh, keep this one in your mind and you can you need to proceed okay so now let us see some of the applications of this intermetallic alloys we we see that it is uh, it has uh, the ability to withstand very high temperature so this uh, particular alloys especially titanium aluminates okay are widely used as the gas turbine plates where it is subjected to huge temperatures and the second application like it is also widely used in the internal combustion engines at the rocker arms and various parts of the turbo chargers okay this portion also exhibit huge temperature so uh, one particularity of this alloy is that then when when they combine together like for example titanium aluminum okay when they combine together this will exhibit higher melting point than either of the parent material metal like uh, if you take titanium or if you take aluminum independently and if you evaluate the melting point the alloy will have a higher melting point than the individual melting points of the pure parent metal okay 
so higher the melting point indicates that higher strength of the chemical bond uh, is exhibiting inside the intermetallic compounds so um, now let us see the classification the now we are moving to the first classification that is the electron compounds okay electron compounds uh, that's the name suggests itself uh, they they are they have some some kind of uh, electron sharing tendency okay electron sharing tendency basically like covalent nature so it basically uh, depends on the uh, valence electron ratio between the metals okay one of the example is the alloy which is formed from magnesium and tin so magnesium has two atoms and uh, tin has one atom so the electron is shared here so such compounds is classified into electron compounds so these compounds are usually very hard and like it will be very brittle also so next one is the interstitial compounds as we have discussed earlier so the the alloying metal what they will do is that they will take uh, the places of the interstitial spaces okay in a regular or in a ordered arrangement so uh, small small alloying elements will take uh, the place between the larger atoms okay one of the example of this interstitial compound is cementite or we can say iron carbide which we will discuss in the coming slides in the iron carbon phase diagram okay so that's all for uh, this one uh, regarding the intermetallic alloys so thank you and we will see in the next video